Young and old, they have come to Buckshaw Stadium, and they are here to see that man, Chris Wondolowski, in search of his second Golden Boot Award tonight. Quakes John. This has become a familiar bunch for San Jose. Bush in the back, Stevenson and Wondolowski up front. Dallas, Chris Seitz is in goal. Kevin Hartman had played every minute of the season. He's not even in town yet. Look for Booth, most goals in the league. And we are underway with a sixth straight sellout for the San Jose Earthquakes. And John, what makes it more impressive, they've added a few seats to the Buckshaw Stadium. Stern John and Diego Serna, a bunch of guys in this league who've had great years back to back. Sites had to stay on his line. He's got a bright future. Nice ball ahead. Kari Stevenson on a run. He's got Wondolowski. It's Wando. Wando dangerous. Just missing the far post and Stevenson on a run. Yeah, he's probably disappointed there. We've seen him score from even that kind of an angle in the past. And he got a little bit deep before he set himself up. And he probably should have elevated it and tried to sneak it in over the top of Sites. Who was trying to stay low and decided, but how about this? This is the big final there. Dero doesn't score, and Kansas City wraps up the East. Oh, no. It's here down, and they point to the spot. There you have it. How about that? Who do you think is going to take it? I put the, my mortgage on number eight. How about right. you? Although he's the guy, only guy who's right. drawn a penalty this year, and he, and he got it stopped. How about that? Coming into this match for San Jose, nothing from the penalty spot this year. Well, here's the thing that's so impressive about Wando's goal scoring is that he scores a bunch of goals and doesn't get the penalties as we see Betasure going down. Pretty easy call there. It's just a little bit too much. This would be number 16. And tied for the goal scoring lead with Dwayne Di Rosario. It's in the net. The right guess by Chris Seitz. But he beats the keeper for number 16 this year. 3 nothing, San Jose. Three goals in nine minutes. He struck this hard. Seitz guessed the right place. He struck it hard. Seitz just couldn't keep it. But he put it right on his hands. From the angle we had it, it looked like Seitz was going to deny him. But Wando with power finds the net. Wando had to make sure he was onside that time. Chested the ball down. Stevenson. Oh, that is tricky. Wando brought it down. Brady slides through. Goal to San Jose. Oh, what's the offside? It is a goal. How about Simon Dawkins? San Jose is having a goal away party for 2011. Well, they've had a hell of a time scoring goals this year. 
you know, one of the worst goal-scoring teams in the league this year, and that's why they're in the predicament they are. Their defense was good enough. Their offense was not. They're so worried about Wando, so worried about knocking the ball off Wando's boot right there, and Dawkins is in a perfect position to clean it up, and that's a brace for the young man, and that's six goals and poor Chris Seitz in his first game this year. You know, Abe's coming in. FC Dallas off the corner. Nice play. The ball was dancing in the middle. Their seventh goal off a corner this year. And FC Dallas on the board. Well, it's pretty tough when you've given up uh, four goals in the half. And what you're going to do is send everybody. And the uh, stoppage time is almost up in the first half. And George John just happened to be the right guy in the right place. And there were two quakes there. Bush was leaning one way. And then they had Cronin there on the doorstep off Santos there, and, or uh, Galindo, and making sure that uh, it just doesn't happen. Dawkins and Morrow, there's some speed. The ball to the middle. And he flew Wando! Hit the crossbar! He hit the crossbar! Oh. And then the play is blown dead as Chris Seitz is down. Wow. It was there. Talk about picking it up defensively. Wando is right there, strikes it. It comes down well outside. Seitz paid the price for it. Got lucky, then came down hard. Looks like he got kicked in the hand. Maybe that's what happened. And then Dallas clears it away, and the referee stopped wisely when there continues off the corner. Jertsen. the same way everybody what a play by Jertson to make this happen though <laughs> Benitez strikes oh, Bush might have missed it coming through the wall I'll tell you what it skimmed off somebody it deflected off somebody in the wall and Bush was going to go over and make the play and it was redirected and he gets his right foot up there and knocks it away that's a hell of a play Look at this. It hits somebody in the wall. It deflects, and he's going to play it, and he has to use his right. They've got something, you know. They they were cruising to a loss in front of 64,000 people the other night. See if there's a little urgency here. It's a ball for Baca. What? Oh! Sites punches it away again. A throw coming for the Quakes. Three times in the half here now, and Sites stops him twice. Quakes playing quick. Wando tried to angle a header on net but couldn't. Well, if it's about opportunities, if it's about giving yourself a chance to score, certainly as had happened here. And again, that one had a had a lot on it, although side set. Nearing the end of 90 minutes. And a chance, and that's a goal. FC Dallas putting the pressure on Ruben Luna. He was at the far post and the ball deflected in his direction. He brought it down with a chest, found the back of the net. So two minutes of stoppage time added. Luna's a kid who's been with this team since he was a teenager, just turned 20, and they've felt like there's a lot of promise there. Hasn't had as much playing time, partly because they've hired some big money guns. Stands over the ball, strikes it over the top, and that could very well do it. There you have it. This season is over, but a thrilling finish. Chris Wondolowski gets one on a night in which he needed two.